everybody, I'm Mrs. World of Wayne and this is my crafting world. So it's been a while, um, but we are almost there with the cute be quiet house. So this should be now our last stretch. So we're now going to create. Um, so when we finished the last video, we had the bathroom complete. So we're now going to do the bedroom. And then once that's done, we can put it all together and you'll be able to see the final um, model. So I am so sorry that it's been such a long time since we've had a video. It's amazing how life can take over. You'd think the summer holidays, um, as a teacher, I have August off, that I would have lots of time to myself. But that's just not how it goes. But here we are, um, ready to complete this build. So let's go. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do is we have a wardrobe to complete. And that looks just like that there. So what we're gonna do is I've already got the components out for it and these are all from bag E. So for the wardrobe, we have three lo two long panels and three shorter panels. The shorter panels are going to be the top and the bottom of the wardrobe and then there is a door section that will fit onto the third piece. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by sticking the top piece to the two side pieces. And this top piece glues over, I'll just double check that. Yep, so this will stick over like this, it won't but inside it will actually stick onto the top. So let's get our trusty tacky glue, because you know how much I love this Aileen's tacky glue. And get these two sections. So I just want to hold those in place like we normally do okay, to get those to stick nicely. Then what we're gonna do is glue on the door. So I'm gonna lay these down. The good thing about these, um, these mats that we use, these cutting mats, is they have lines on, so you can pretty much just double check that you've got it at a 90 degree angle. But I'm now gonna glue the door on. Now the door, has got two sides to it. This side here, which is the outside, um, has got a, a groove going down, so it looks as though it's two individual doors, whereas on the reverse, it doesn't have that. So when you glue, make sure you're gluing this side. I'm just gonna put some glue along the top and some glue along the sides. And then what we'll do is, as normal, we'll pop this to one side just so that that glue can harden. And then we can get on with something else. So I'm gonna move that over there. I'm also just gonna move that panel there. But what I am gonna do is on the bottom, we need to stick the four legs. Now these legs go into the corners with the triangles in the corner. So I am going to use some tweezers because these are really small. And I'm just going to run some glue along each of the edges. And then place them down like so. Yeah, that looks cool. And then the last one. And then we can pop this to the side as well. Don't think that's... Just double checking these are all in the correct place. They look pretty good. Just gonna move, no, it's all good. So, just gonna move that to one side as well. And we can get on with the next bit. Now for the next bit, they want us to use this piece of gray fabric, which is G7. 
in the um, pack. And they also want us to use this tiny piece of uh, white wood here. And this is E26. And what they want us to do is they want us to just cut a strip that is a template for you to follow. So let's get that cut out and I'll show you what to do with it. Okay, now what they want us to do is to actually wrap this up and then what will happen is this will go at the uh, bottom of that wardrobe or armoire um, and look as though it's a folded blanket. I'm going to put some glue onto the piece of wood like so. Turn that over. Okay, put that down. Just straighten that up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place some glue all the way along the edge. Just going to put some extra glue on the end here. Now I'm just going to use one of my little pegs. Okay, bulldog clips are really good for this, or normal household pegs, just to keep that in place and put that to one side, and that forms our blanket. Okay, so we've now got a dressing table, and I'm going to use. So I've got F2 and those two pieces there are F1. And all that I need to do is just to glue these on together. Once again, these are going to sit inside the piece of wood, not on the outside edge. So this final run really is a lot of just putting the final pieces of furniture together. And as I say, and then we can dress the room. So we've got our dressing table like so. Just need to straighten that leg up a little bit. Just pull that one up and I can put that to one side until this glues. And then we've got a footstool and the footstool is made out of F3 and two times F4 like so. Okay, exactly the same. Let's glue those on. Then we need to make a stool, and the stool is made out of F3 and 2 times F4, which are these pieces here. I'm quite excited now that we've got to the final run. It does seem a long, a long time coming. These bills, obviously, if you did a bit every day or every week, you'd have this built in no time. Okay, so let's make up some little perfume bottles. So we're going to use some goodies from our bag H here. And we now don't have a lot left in there. And what we're going to do is we are going to glue. Oops, this one doesn't want to stand up. Don't worry too much if they don't want to stand up because you'll be gluing them down anyway. What we're going to do... Let's just glue a little pearl bead to the top. It's really tiny. Let me hold this up to the camera so you can see what I've done. Not really sure if that's going to... Yeah, that's better. Okay, so a little pearl bead just on the top of the little pink bottle. And do the same again. On this one. I always find it easier if you use the tweezers and put the tweezer into the hole of the pearl. Again, that one just there. So we'll leave those two to the side and they can dry for the minute. Then we're going to be looking at making the bed. Now for the bed we need parts from bag B. And we have got, okay, so B26, 
we've got B25. So B26 is the footboard, B25 is the headboard, and then we have got, I believe, yeah, B27, two times B27. On B25 and B26, there's two ways up that this can go. We're going to keep this gap here at the bottom of the bed. All right, so that's going to form the base. And so we're going to stick the two side panels, literally glue them onto the corners and then glue all of this together. Once again, I'm going to use the lines of the cutting mat to try and get these as best I can into a right angle. You're not actually going to see the base of this bed anyway. You will only see the, the uh, headboard and footboards. So I'm going to leave that one there um, while we get on with the mattress. So with the mattress, they ask us to use B1 and B1 is a piece of board that looks like this. Okay. And onto that, they want us to paste um, this wadding here. So part of the wadding that we had. All right. And that just gives it just a little bit of a base really. And then over that, we're going to be gluing some of this fabric here. Okay. So that's glued all the way around. Now we're going to put that on top. And then pull our fabric up and over. Okay. And what you end up with, just trim off those frame bits is something that looks like this now the idea is that this is now glued down on to our bed frame so I'm going to gently run some glue because this isn't I haven't left this very long so this bed frame isn't very secure as you can see it is moving slightly but if we can get some glue onto here then I know that putting the mattress on will help okay so let's see if we can do this without it all falling apart I'm going to move that to one side now and then we can get on with the last few bits of furniture. Okay, so now we're going back to bag F and in here, oops, there we go. I have got a few pieces Yeah, so this is F10 and two lots of F9, and these are going to form the basis of our drawer. Okay, so we've now got a tiny, tiny drawer. Let me just, as you can see on that side camera there. Now, We're now going to glue. So this is now F7. No, I'm telling, telling you something that's not true. This is F8. And on F8, we're going to glue two times F7. And again, these are going on here. This is where it starts to get really exciting, as I said, because what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to let you see any of this in situ until it's now finished. So at the end of this video, you'll be able to see some images of the whole house with all of the items inside. 
So again, that needs to be pushed to one side for it to dry. On the bed, we've made the bed and we have got some dressing. Now, if you remember that way back when I made the cushions, my example was this blue one because it was easier to see than the white fabric that we had. Well, that there is for the bed. And you also have this piece of fabric here, which is G8, and that gets laid over the bed. All right, so just in case you just thought it was just gonna be a plain white bed. No, it's not. This is a slight blue fabric with a raised or an embossed floral design on it. And that will have the cushion as well. So you will see those when the, the house is finally put together. So we are almost there. Can you believe it after all this time? Now we do have another side panel to put in and this is, um, yeah, this is C2 and we need to cut and stick a piece of Perspex on it. So here's my piece of Perspex looking a bit tatty. Now going backwards and forwards into the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue this onto here first of all. And on our house at the moment, we've got one gap in the wall. Um, and this is where this panel goes. And then while we're waiting for everything else to dry, I'm going to bring the house back because there are a couple of things that structurally um, we need to add. This will be one of them when it dries. But I want to remind you what we've done, how far we've got. So I'm just going to stick that onto the piece of Perspex like that. Pop that to one side. And then once that's dry, I'll be able to trim that out. Okay, so let's just remind ourselves of what the actual house looks like so far. And this is the section that we're now putting together here. Now what we do have um, that I need to start to add are some railings. So just like we had down the bottom um, here, we've got some of those to go up the top. So we're going to start putting those in. And we also have, if I put that at the right angle, here there are three steps that go so we need to add those so that actually there is access to this top floor so that's what we're going to put together now now i'm going to turn this so that you can see on the top camera it's just perfect okay so we're going to be putting the steps here. And these are the final pieces from bag E. So that's bag E all done now. And I'm going to flick back a few pages because I didn't put these in when the instructions said to put them in. So what you have is you've got section E14, which looks like this, and you've got section E13 that looks like this. And you have three of each, and these put together to form the treads of the steps. So I'm just gonna carefully move the house out of the way while we glue together these step pieces. Is there the first two treads? So that gives you an idea. And then what we've got is one more tread to come up. So I'm gonna put this to one side. I'm gonna let that, cause that's gotta dry fully before I can attach the other um, bits to it. Okay. So what we're now gonna start putting together are these mini walls here. And as you can see, 
on this final picture. Right. They're just decorative, but just also show where there would be um, either um, a full size wall or if it's a mezzanine, as this looks as though it is a safety wall. And we've got lots of different sections for this. Now I have already started to glue some of them together. And what you have is you have different size sections here, and then you have some tiny little um, peg type pieces at the end, uh, and they form parts that stick to the walls or parts that um, join each of the units together. So what have we got left? Well, we have a clothes hanger, okay, that looks like this. That goes that way, it is stuck on and it has a piece of blue fabric draped over it like so. So that goes into the bedroom as well. Let's see if we've got any parts that are dry that I can start putting together to give you an idea of what we've got. Okay, so we've got this unit and we've got this drawer front and sides. So these can be now be stuck in together to give us a complete unit. And I am going to be attaching um, some of the black um, plastic that we've used before as the drawer front. And then once that is completely glued, that will form the basis of the bedside table. So the final thing left for us to do really is to make the lampshade. Now way back when we already wired up a section in the bedroom for the lamp and now it's time to actually make that lamp fitting. So I'm going to cut out these sections here. So this is on the, uh, it's a paper element and it is three, eight. And I also need three, 10, which is this section just here. And we also need part of J30. We've used this quite a lot as well. And what we need is a six centimeter strip and they want us to curl it so it looks a bit like, I suppose the only way to describe it really is a bit like a cobra. We've done this before. It's so that it looks or gives us a stand. Oops, just move it more, that's it. Right, so the idea is that this will hold our light fitting all right, so that's what we'll that's what you're aiming for. Something that looks like that and that will stand. But again, we're going to be gluing it anyway. Now, I'm going to need my tweezers to pick this up. This section here is actually going to form the base of the lamp um the lampshade. So, it's actual stand. So I'm going to fold on the black line like so and then I'm just going to curl, I'm going to use a pencil because I've got one to hand, it's probably a bit thick actually but at least it'll start off the curl because we don't want this to be squared, we want it to be curved. Okay, that's going to look something like that. Now, in our bag of 
magic tricks bag H you have something that looks like this that is what you are going to stick your base onto okay so that should then once that's glued in tightly um, should enable it to stand upright on its own there it is okay now with this section here that's going to be rolled so again you can use your pencil right or anything that you might have okay so just by rolling it on a pencil like that you'll get the shape that you want and then you can pop a piece of glue at the end and join those two sections now it is going to want to fling back so you are going to have to sit and hold this or again use a peg or a paper clip anything that you might have that can hold that together and there you've got your lampshade so once you've got the right size you need to make sure that you've then got that piece in the middle because that is then going to slot inside your stand and what you will end up with is a lampshade like so let me turn that round okay and then the light that we've already attached the bulb will poke up from the end now you do want to make sure that your seams are in the same place because your seams you're going to want to put near the wall all right so do remember that so this is now glued on nicely so this is our last window section we can cut that out put that to one side okay so this window is going to fit over here and it's the last piece to go in for the actual structure so i'm going to screw that in then i'm going to leave okay because we are there so i'm going to get that window stuck in for you and the next thing you are going to see is the fully completed quiet house by uh, cute bee with everything in its place so if you've liked these videos um, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but thanks for following sorry this has taken such a long time but do keep viewing because we have an exciting build um, in the pipeline which will be coming in a couple of weeks so take care everybody and enjoy this short video and photos of the final build bye